Hi, I'm Julie Dronad, Director of Operations for Cox in Acadiana. We're pleased to provide to you the following program across Louisiana. Our show is dedicated to the people and events of our six parish service area. It's another way that Cox gives back to the communities that we love and serve. We hope you will find across Louisiana useful, educational, and entertaining. On behalf of 300 employees right here in Acadiana, we thank you for being a loyal Cox customer. Enjoy the program. Hello, Jason Fred, and welcome to Across Louisiana Acadiana Style. Glad you are with us on this summer day. We are going to have a great show starting with Bree Sargent. If you've got a kid that still needs a summer camp, they've got something going on at the Acadiana Center for the Arts. Then Natalie Johnson from Casa of South Louisiana is here. They need volunteers and they will train you to help them with their cause. And then the Feed and Seed, you've been hearing about it. Jean-Marie LaSalle will be here to talk about all the stuff going on for the next couple of months, a really cool venue. We'll be back to get things going in just a second. Stay with us right here on Across Louisiana, Acadiana Stock. Thank you. We are ready to go with another episode of Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style, brought to you by Mellajoy, the original Cajun coffee. I want to welcome back Bree Sargent. She was here a month or so ago. She's with the Acadiana Center for the Arts, and today we're talking summer camps, huh? Yes. Y'all are busy? We are busy. We are already in full swing. We've had uh, summer camps in all of June, and we're continuing through all of July. We have um, camps that last about a week. At, they last a week at a time. Okay. And they're all summer arts camps in lots of different areas. We have Passport to the Arts, where the kids actually visit a different country oh, wow. each day. And um, for those, you can actually register by the day because they're around 4th of July, so people right. can fit them into their vacation plans. So they learn about the culture through the arts of each of those countries that they visit. Um, we also have a puppetry camp that's a week long, Neat. and they'll be doing mask making and puppets and writing some of their own scripts and plays for the puppets. We also have a camp called The Music in You, which is a fantastic camp because it's for kids who don't have any musical experience. So kids who might want to start to get their feet wet with something or just be introduced to that. Um, we have great instructors who bring all these instruments with them and they work with the kids on writing, recording their own music. Wow. They actually leave with a CD at the end. They form bands within within the group. So it's a really fun camp. We've had it for uh, a few summers. We missed a couple summers of it, but we've got our instructors back. So I know a lot of people are looking forward to that. That is, that is awesome. What kind of age groups are we talking about, Bree? Uh, they vary, but they're between the ages of 6 and 14. Different camps are for different age groups, um, but everybody just has to have completed a year of kindergarten to join in. So. You know, a, a lot of people claim not to be artists, but they those who participate do so much better in the STEM courses when you've been stimulated, don't you? You're they? absolutely right. Learning through the arts really um, engages all the parts of your brain and all the parts of the child. And um, the, these camps, they're, they're great introductory camps so that, you you know, you don't have to have a lot of experience in them to be able to to participate. We our, our teaching artists, all of the, the lead instructors are or teaching artists that work in the schools as working artists and as educators. And um, they really do a good job of making sure that the kids are introduced to a wide variety of artistic media. So they work in two and three dimensions, as well as in music for that one particular So these are thing. trained professionals that know the attention span of the age group. And just yes. when there's about to be trouble, we move on to something Absolutely. else. Absolutely. <laughs> They're very engaging camps. They don't just sit and listen right. at any point. They're, they're really active, very high energy. All the kids and all the teachers leave exhausted every day. <laughs> well, okay, well let's talk website and how to sign up and all that. Yes, all our camps um, along with a full uh, packet of information is available on our website acadianacenterforthearts.org and you can register by calling the ACA at 337-233-7060 and we can send you more information. All the pricing and everything is listed on our website. We do also have some scholarships available. Okay. Yes, definitely. So don't let money stand in the way. Wow. Um, you can give us a call at ACA and we can tell you more about that. 
All right, that is fantastic. Now, we have just a few seconds left. Anything you can announce schedule-wise? When's all that coming out for the upcoming season? For the season? Um, probably within the, by, by August, I would okay. imagine. So y'all are inking deals. We just can't talk oh, yes. about them yet. Absolutely. Uh, so another exciting season, though, I'm Definitely. sure. Definitely. Huh? It'll be great. Okay. One of the best venues in the state of Louisiana. Perfect for downtown. Yes. Katie Anderson Center for Artists. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Okay. We are going to take a look at something on ourselves. Cox 4 has recently moved on the dial to channel 1004. A lot more inquiries about what exactly is your local programming? What do you do? Take a look. Change? We don't have to tell you about it. Gone are the distinct lines between public relations, brand management, marketing, advertising, webmaster, and social media maven. Today, you and your company are on the clock 24-7 and it can be overwhelming. When you break through the noise, one simple fact remains. The need to tell your story will never change. Many Louisiana professionals have found a great resource for this in a very unlikely place. The team at Cox 4 Local Television. These are the times, this is a place. Yes, the live high school football folks have honed the art of cost-effective content gathering, great storytelling across many platforms, and a transparent work-for-hire attitude that gives you complete ownership of your media. It began in the old school days. Clients who bought advertising in football games appeared as guests during live broadcasts. They told their stories, and it worked. There's only so much information we can get out in a 15-second spot or a 30-second spot. What we've been able to do with Cox and, the, and the, the business segments that we've done there is tell so much more about our story and give people a lot bigger picture about who we are and what we're about. We still do that, but it has morphed into year-round television programs focused on business and community events. Here's the kicker. The content created by Cox 4 is yours to use and repurpose anywhere you like. Websites, YouTube, social media, or at trade shows. The production capabilities one. run the gamut. We have studios in Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and New Orleans. We have production trucks, trailers, lightweight fly pack units, ENG cameras, and even DSLRs. But it's what we do with them that makes the difference. Cox 4 helps to launch new products. We were just really excited for this partnership and um, we're, we're really big on children and education and we wanted to, you know, find a way to give back to the schools and donate some of the proceeds for those sales um, actually back into the school programs. We're going to be bringing our CC Streetside Cafe out to the games to sample some salted caramel mocha sippies. We're in all three markets. We're in New Orleans, Lafayette and Baton Rouge. So come see us at a CC's Coffee House. Cox 4 helps industries get the word out on their community relations efforts. Our foundation looked at that and said, you know, this is a great charge. This is a great opportunity for us. The same holds true for government agencies, political candidates, and action committees. Small businesses, nonprofit groups, and anyone with a message. The experienced crew at Cox 4 can help craft your content and air it on television. You retain ownership and repurpose it across all the new media. Really neat. This makes Cox 4 a powerful public relations partner. How much does it cost? We're glad you asked. The simple answer is less than you are paying now. Let me explain. Cox 4 operates similarly to a nonprofit organization. Our main mission is to create content for the Cox Communications Public Relations Initiative. Then we sell our remaining airtime and production services on a break-even business model. This means wholesale-like prices for our customers. We have small project packages starting at $2,500 and have had some projects as large as six figures. The process is simple. Meet with our sales and production managers and tell us your goals, budget, and limitations. We'll brainstorm and make a custom proposal for your consideration. To contact the Cox 4 Public Relations team, call or email Jim Hogg in Baton Rouge at the Jim Hogg Group. Jim has sample videos so you can browse our work. We thank you for your time and look forward to working with you here at Louisiana's local television. We hope you'll get involved with your event or with your business here on Cox 4. We're going to step away. When we come back, our friend Natalie Johnson joins us. She's with CASA of South Louisiana.
Thanks for staying with us. We're back on Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style, brought to you by Mellow Joy, the original Cajun coffee. We're pleased to welcome back Natalie Johnson. She's with Casa of South Louisiana. How are you? Doing good. How are you? Doing fine. Uh, talk a little bit about the organization. I know you just went to a, a rejuvenating conference in New Orleans. We uh, did. We did. We got to, um, there was over 3,000 Casas, so needless to say, the energy was high. Um, but we are an organization that are court appointed special advocates for children that are going through foster care. Um, so we are their voice in court and we look at what is their best interest and how we can help their process in the court system go quicker. So to, to have a gathering like that where everyone's kind of sharing stories, it's not textbook, it's real people, real life. It right? really is, yeah, lots of inspiration and um, it was amazing. Okay, well, I know you came on today to talk about uh, some training. Before you get into specifically exactly that, um, what does it take to be a volunteer? Who are you looking for? How can people get involved? Um, basically, we want everyone to come out from the community. You just have to be 21 years of age and older, um, and the training is about 30 hours. We do run background checks to make sure that you're safe. Um, and to be around the children. And then throughout our training, we'll inform you on how to deal with different situations, some that are difficult, um, you know, primarily with abuse, sexual abuse and neglect. So uh, what kind of a person is best suited, I guess, to, to work with you guys? Anybody with a big heart. Um, mm -hmm. We have lots of um, UL students that are in grad school or working on their masters, as well as retired teachers. Um, or families that recently their kids just went off to college so they have empty nest syndrome um, but we're happy to have everyone okay so what's uh, what the training uh, when does it start where is it what's we, all that? it's gonna kick off uh, July 27th it'll be at our office which is off of West Pinhook um, we'll feed you and teach you everything you need to know and the class will wrap up on August 15th so is it a night class, day class, how does it work? I'm sorry, it's a night class, uh, kicking off at 5.30, so you'll have enough time, leave the office, and then we'll have food ready for you. Okay, so you don't have to rush and eat and get over there, yeah, just get over no. there and you'll have some, some nice healthy wrap or something over exactly. there. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And, um, and real laid back, but definitely um, we try to make it as easy as possible because of the subject matter. Talk about, uh, you know, you've been over there a while. Talk about, you know, what's, the, what's it personally like to watch people get this, just someone who cares? Just it's amazing. Um, the children that have the joy of having a CASA in their life, it's almost like as if having another family member that's looking out for you. Um, some of our children that come into custody are nonverbal or they're too young to where they can be verbal. And then you have a third party with an extra set of eyes that are looking in to make sure you're okay. Um, it, it really, it's a blessing for them. And the bond that they form usually lasts until throughout their life, until they age out. Wow. Um, we also have had many uh, cases this past month where families were reunited, um, which of course is our goal and parents completed anger management That's great. and what have you. That's great. Give your website so people and phone number so people can get a hold of okay. you. Okay, it's uh, org, and you can call us at 337-268-5111. Natalie, good to see you and thank good you so much you. for all you guys do over there. We appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a look down the bayou at our friends who keep us on the air. They are the folks at Arsenault Ford. Take a look. Back in the early 80s when my dad was building the dealership, I mean, he built it on family and trust and everybody working together and make, and having everybody treat each other like, a, like we're family. My two brothers and I have been all raised inside the walls of here. So when we have gone off to college and we, we've come back, it has been always under daddy's watchful eye, daddy's mentoring, daddy's experience has always kept us moving in the right direction. And uh, now that he is starting to kind of step back a little bit and put more control into all of our hands, uh, it's allowed us to take what we envision Arsenal for becoming in the future and to expand it, to uh, kind of keep up with technology and uh, just try to grow it as big as we possibly can. Um, we are not just the 
simple Ford store in the middle of sugarcane fields. We're actually, we're competitive. We have made a, a mark for ourselves and we have made our name known, not just as Arsenal Ford Little Store in New Iberia, but we're, we're out there. And when people are thinking about buying a Ford product, you know, in the Acadian area, our name is at the top of the list. This is truck country. Uh, the F-Series truck is, is the number one selling truck in the country. At Arsenal Ford, we sell a lot of trucks. Being in the all patch, we're right in the middle of, uh, you know, the F-150 and the F-250, the, the Super Duty diesels sell real well. The oil field's doing real well, especially around New Iberia. And uh, we are getting a lot of sales from the, from the oil business. But the new cars that they came out with, passenger cars, such as the new Ford Fusion with their technology, and also in the Ford Escape, the sync system and the Mod 4 touch system, those two new models have been doing very, very well. Now we're getting a lot of feedback from the customers as far as for the technology in all their models. They seem to have more technology in their trucks than some of the other brands that are available to the public. The customer is bringing in their vehicle looking for a newer vehicle they might be upgrading or something might have changed in their path of life or, or you know, um, for instance, you have a young couple that get married and, and a year later they have a baby and they might have a, a, a car they just bought a year ago and now they have to upgrade their vehicle for what's going to fit their family needs. So in that same instance, that car, you know, that customer is, is trying to, they're transitioning in their life as well, so they'll trade it in and I might have uh, on the flip side, on the retail side of it, where a customer is looking for a vehicle like that, maybe for their new life as well, or, or what, you know, was changing their lives. So it's, um, it goes hand in hand, you know, it goes both ways. So. We have a lot of business, volume is big, but we're still small enough to be on that family basis, where I try to get to know, you know, everybody that walks through that door, I want to know on an individual basis, and from me to my advisors, that's basically how it is, you know. Um, it, it's, you're not a number, you know. It, it's about being part of this family, you know, uh, coming in for service, and that's how I strive to do it. The one thing that we're really proud of is our internet, our website. When we took our website this last year from being just the mundane, same Ford Motor Company website that every Ford dealer around the country can have, and we really upgraded it. It is extremely user-friendly. It has an app for your iPad and your iPhone. Our salesmen go outside with their iPhones or their iPads and they click it and they see every vehicle that is sitting on the lot. And the fabulous thing is it is not just a stock photo. It's not a manufacturer's photo. It is the unit that's on the lot. So we want you to come and we want you to know that when you get here, that silver F-150, it is here. And you saw the color of the inside. You know exactly what wheels it has because you got to see it. It's really the truck in the photo. The Ford Motor Company is not simple Ford Motor Company anymore. And really and truly our belief now is we have such fabulous products, such fabulous quality, great technology. All we've got to do is get you in it. Get a customer in it, let them drive it, let them see what it can do. And they're shocked. It's not just the blue oval in the front anymore. For more information on all of our vehicles, you are more than welcome to go online, www.arsenalford.com for anything and everything that you need. And you can call us at 337-364-9721. And as always, it is as easy to find on Center Street in New Iberia. We're gonna take a quick time out. When we come back, we're gonna go down to the feed and seed. Stay with us on Across Louisiana, Acadiana Stop. We're back on Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style, brought to you by Melojoy, the original Cajun coffee. We're very pleased to welcome Jean-Marie LaSalle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I, I, I travel the state of Louisiana. My home is in Baton Rouge, so I've not been to the feed and seed, but man, in the last year, we've heard about it. Tell us what's going on That's over there. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, it's, it is a new venue. It's only been open for a little less than a year now, and it's a great new addition to Lafayette. It's a live music warehouse. It's a non-smoking atmosphere. Um, we have both 
lounge furniture and tables and chairs and a bar. And it's just a great new place to go see some live music, but also performing arts performances as well. Um, we're only open Thursday through Saturday. So uh, on Thursdays every week, we do free dance lessons. We call it Hoof It at the Warehouse. And uh, this summer, we're going to be doing East Coast Swing lessons. We're also going to be doing ballroom, so the foxtrot and... Oh, okay, so it's not... I was thinking Cajun music all the way, but did you mix it up? Yeah, huh? we mix it up. Um, Britlin Delahousse, she works with Dance Around the World. She does all the, uh, the dance instruction, and she's just awesome. She makes it to where you can come. You don't have to have a partner. Um, it's a great little... What well, if you're klutzy, like I'm really dense on this stuff, counting and everything. She, she works so well with everyone. I have seen people come in there and not know how to step at all. And um, just after a couple of weeks, they are dancing around the room and they love it. And uh, it's great for couples, a new date night idea. And it's also great for singles because um, you don't have to have a partner. And she'll partner people up. It is a great stress release. Yes, it really and it's it's exercise, you know, and it's something fun that you it's value valuable because you can use it. Um, I mean, every girl likes to dance, so every guy should know how to dance. So that's every Thursday from seven to eight thirty, and then we usually have live music afterwards. Um, and we try to stay along the genre of whatever right. dance form we're doing. Then Fridays and Saturdays are usually live music as well, but we are starting a new monthly variety show. Uh, it's called Professor Phineas Sinclair's Medicine Show. And it's we're thinking it's kind of a, a based on a vintage carnival type medicine okay. show. And um, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for any person that's ever wanted to, to perform or has a talent. Uh, we just had auditions for the July show, which will be our premiere. It's going to coincide with Second Saturday Art Walk. Wow, cool. Yes, yeah, so I want it to become a new monthly thing to go to Art Walk and then come and watch this show. It'll so have if you're a one-shot wonder can only do one thing, this is your chance to go get yes, involved and do something. Yes, huh? come audition. Every month we'll have a different theme. So the performers will come up with a three to five minute act based on that theme. And the ones that we have for July, uh, the theme is patriotic. Okay. It's going to be amazing. That'll be good. Okay, we're down to a minute. So let's talk. I think you have a comedian on the schedule as yes, well. Yes, we huh? do. Wyatt Sinek. He was a writer for the John Stewart, Late Night with John Stewart show. He'll be coming August 21st. And tickets are so reasonable, they're $15 right now. Um, we're selling them in advance. We do have some still available, but I'm pretty sure it's going to sell out because um, they're going quickly. All right. Well, let's get the website and phone number information it's, up on the screen. Okay. It's feedandseedlafayette.com. Um, and we're also um, available for rentals as well, so parties, weddings. It's a really cool venue if you haven't visited, so you need to come by. Okay, I will make sure. I'm going to come see the the comedian because I, I absolutely love those those comedic acts. Me too. Just saw Cheech and Chong the other night in New Orleans. It's st <laughs> still recovering. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for being on. We appreciate you Thanks very for much. Me. Okay, we're going to be back to wrap things up in just a moment. Stay with us on Across Louisiana, Acadiana okay, Stop. Appreciate you very much joining us today. You've seen enough of me. We're now going to dissolve on screen. Here it is, our football schedule for this fall for live Acadiana football, 14 Friday nights all over the area, throughout the parishes at Cox Serve here in Acadiana. Can't wait to see you on a Friday night for live high school football. That's it for our show. Jason Fred saying thanks to our guests and to you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style.